As we continue to celebrate black music this month, we are at the legendary Guitar Center on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood, California, honoring the soul-stirring melodies and beats that have defined generations. Artists like Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye, James Brown, Gary Clark Jr., and many more have their own handprints at the historic Walk Walk here at Guitar Center. To commemorate this iconic month, we have selected some items of your favorite icons, so let's take a look. We all remember the iconic albums All Eyes on Me and Me Against the World, which solidified his status as a legendary figure in hip hop. His enduring legacy as a cultural icon and advocate for social change continues to resonate globally, making him one of the most revered and influential artists in history. You know what I'm talking about, right? Tupac. Tupac Shakur. And look what we got here. First of all, you guys don't know, me and Kat were already having a discussion about who was going to get to take this home. It's mine. Because we both won it. I do. Like, Tupac's an icon, and connecting Funkos is, like, really awesome. And not only that, but this is one of Tupac's first albums. So this is kind of, like, I feel like an iconic, very collectible thing to have, just because, I mean, Tupacalypse is... It's the one. The now, one? what was interesting to me also, I'm not going to age myself on this stream, you know, because I'm very young and youthful, but like me and Kat are like, we got some time in between us. And I think it's really cool that like an artist like Tupac can cross multiple generations. You know oh, what I mean? Like, 100%. you know his music, I know his music. We all have the same respect for an artist that, you know, unfortunately was taken away from us so long ago, 100%. but still has that impact. And even now with, you know, Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef, you know, them shouting out Tupac. I feel like another generation is like, I gotta figure out who Tupac is. So this is a kind of cool gift, I feel like, to introduce someone to Mr. Pac. For anybody, for literally any generation, young, older, anybody can be introduced to his music. Have you started collecting Funkos yet? This might be my first. Cause okay, because I'm mine. telling you, once you go in, it's There's a no journey. Looking back. <laughs> There's no looking back. You go all, <laughs> all of a sudden have these all over your house. And then we have more Tupac products as well. Oh, we have a poster. Yeah, we do have a poster. I should be better at opening things, but I'm going to try not to be awkward. Okay, here we go. Look what at this. Is it's, it? it's trends posters that we have here. Let's see what it looks Ooh, like. Ooh, wow. Such an iconic image. Such an iconic image. I mean, that's great. Okay, so now who's going to fight over this one? This is mine. You get the poster and the Funko Cat? Okay, Tupac, I mean, <laughs> Tetris, I like Tupac. I know you might have him on your shirt, but this one goes so good in my room. Like, above the bed, he's kind of praying over me. And the funny thing is, I think about, like, hip-hop heads, right? Yeah. And I don't know, like, how they would decorate, but, like, if you're a hip-hop head, I feel like this is a nice piece that would look nice in, like, 100%. your living room, like, your, your, your office, like, something that you can frame that is giving, like, Mature, 100%. but also fan of music. 100%. A nice little frame over that. It probably cost you like, I don't know, 20, 30 bucks. Be a nice um, addition to your house for sure. So, yeah, trends, posters. You got Tupac Funko. For my Tupac fans out there, you guys can jump in the comment, the description below, and see the links to get these Tupac products because all lies on him, right? Yes. Okay, now I gotta ask you one more question though. Favorite Tupac song? There's one I want to say, but it's not coming to my head, so I'm going to say Hail Mary. Okay. Hail Mary, come with me. Hail hey, Mary, hey, one quick C. What, what do, do we have here now? now? Do you, you want to ride da 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 Okay, okay, okay. I was, I was making <laughs> sure. Me. I wanted to make sure, you know what I'm saying? I know my Pac, I know my Pac, I know, I know my Pac. I just had to check, Kat. All right, we're going to move on to the other guy on my shirt. We got... Ooh. Notorious B.I.G. We have a ceramic mug here. It has, of course, it was classic quote on it. It was all a dream. Now, Biggie, of course, is known for his lyrical prowess and storytelling. Through his music, he became the biggest hip-hop artist of our generation. I feel like you're going to you take need, everything. All you need is a Word Up magazine with this. Ooh, come on now. I feel like, right? On the coffee table? On the coffee table? With, come on. Or having your morning coffee, reading your word up, you know? Yes, Kat, come on. Obsessed. This is amazing cup. And it's big. This is, this, like, if you had coffee or tea, this is going to last you all morning. I was about to say, if you're a coffee drinker, this is going to get you going because <laughs> it's like, I think it's 200 um, milliliters, ounces. I'm, yeah. I'm the worst at, at freaking things like that. But, like, yeah, plenty of room for you. And then, of course, also the description, the link in, is in the description for you to order this as well. Yep. I'm, like, kind of obsessed. Um, kind of. That would be used every single day. Yes, and I'm taking it. 
by the no. way. No, are you a tea or coffee person? I'm a tea person. Okay, I was just making sure you're gonna be using it. Yes. Because I don't think I've ever seen you drink coffee, so that's why I was worried. No, you never will see me coffee, but with green tea, that's my jam. All right, so we got Biggie and Tupac both covered. Now this next guy, an icon, and I told her she was gonna start collecting Funkos. <laughs> Wait till she gets to the point she's collecting the jumbo. Ones. Ah! <laughs> yes. Now Snoop Dogg is one of the most recognizable figures in West Coast hip hop. I mean, look at this. It's amazing. This is amazing. And look at the details on his outfit. I think that's what's so cool. He's got the rings on. He's got the watch. He's got the chain. Like the the fit is fitting. He's the got the chucks on. Mustache. The infamous mustache. The fitted hat. I mean, the earrings. He has the whole Snoop vibe going on. Literally, what's playing in my head is beautiful. Beautiful oh. by Snoop Dogg. I just want you to know. Like yes. what? This is amazing. And I feel like Snoop Dogg is one of those icons that is so known for his music, obviously, right? Yep. He has such an incredible discography. Yep. But the thing about Snoop is that he keeps being a part of con culture continuously yep. through just other things. Yep. Through his businesses, through just being involved in pop culture. He was yep. just commenting on the Kendrick and Drake stuff. Yep. And like everybody was like, this is what Snoop got to say. Yep. Like Snoop called Kendrick King. <laughs> So, you know, he just keeps his name and his legacy going through, like, being involved in hip-hop. He's like, can I call him hip-hop granddad? I like that. I feel like he would accept that, too. Yeah, he's like the granddad. Like, he's like, yo. He is. Uncle. Uncle. He's unk. Unk Snoop. Uncle Snoop. That is who we... And, I mean, how can you not have a large Funko of Uncle Snoop in your office, in your room? Again, I collect Funko, so I'm always going to be pushing Funkos on people, but, like... This is pretty iconic. That's iconic. Yeah, jump in the description. Make sure you get this at Guitar Center. And let us know what you think. Now this next icon we're discussing, we've all been hearing about him lately. Hopefully you guys saw the movie, Bob Marley. Now he achieved global success with his reggae music that blended elements of spirituality, social justice, and of course, love. Now what we have here for my musicians out there is Bob Marley for the ukulele. You can strum and sing 20 reggae songs, including No Woman, No Cry, Could You Be Loved, and Get Up, Stand Up. Get Up, Stand Up. Hey, what are we gonna stand up for? We're gonna stand up for y'all rights. All right. Love it. I mean, and I'm not very musically inclined, as you can probably hear from my singing voice, <laughs> but you know, people like Cash, she's played instruments before, and like, I think this is really cool for like the musicians out there in your family. A hundred percent. I mean, you know, if you are a music reader, you know, F-A-C-E, every boy, every good boy does bad. That's how you learn the scales? That's how you learn the scales. So it's, re it's really easy. You should like, you know, just watch, watch a couple TikToks. You gotta teach me something. Oh, TikTok, TikTok teaching everybody everything <laughs> these days. No, this is amazing. No woman, no cry. Who wouldn't want to learn that? And even like it's the summertime, like playing that out by like at the park or at the beach. Oh, we got like a little barbecue. Exactly. Like now we're putting people to work. We're like, okay, so if you're gonna come to the barbecue, <laughs> if you're if you can play instruments, please buy the Bob Marley ukulele book and play the ukulele at the barbecue, so we can all vibe and love and feel that energy yes. that you know that he he gave. Did you see the movie, by the way? I have not seen the movie, and this is making me like. His legacy want to go watch is now. like, I, I know his music, but I didn't know his story. Right. And when you watch right. the movie and you learn like what he stood for and like yeah. how much he went through in his life, it just makes you appreciate him even more. A hundred percent. He is a legend. R.I.P. Bob Marley. This yeah. is amazing. Now I'm gonna actually make sure you keep this one because you're gonna be now the person that's playing. This is there we go. true. See, this see is I, true. I'm putting you to work. This is true. We have one more icon to get to, and his name is Jimi Hendrix. We actually, aren't these Jimi Hendrix guitars behind side us? Yeah, so this we have like, obviously we're at Guitar Center, surrounded by beautiful, beautiful guitars everywhere. So you can obviously come to the store right here on Sunset. This store is gorgeous, by the way. Like this room we're in, everything's perfect. So you wanna come here, check out guitars. They have Jimi Hendrix guitars here. But what we're telling you about is the Jimi Hendrix, the best of Jimi Hendrix book here. Look at that, all that gorgeous sheet music. More sheet music. So much stuff. And then the perfect guitar. Now, Obsessed. Jimi Hendrix himself was a virtuosic guitar player. He played, he had such an innovative approach to songwriting in the 1960s. And we're just gonna commemorate him with these great items. Can, can you help me open this? I Let's can see. definitely Because I don't wanna just, this. I'm the worst. Like on Christmas, I just start ripping stuff. I break the box. It's, I'm the same though. We got two people like that here. <laughs> it's like I never keep the packaging nice. Oop. Oh, so, oh, you did? Okay. okay. I'm gonna give you a eight out of 10. <laughs> 
A for effort. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. There's no tape on it, which is always a good sign. The tape is when I really start ruining things. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. And it look, literally looks just like the Jimi Hendrix guitar right here. It's made by Fender. Which is a big, big guitar brand. Oh, okay, see? I and didn't do so bad. And it even has a little stand. Why is this giving me like Barbie life-size vibes? <laughs> <laughs> of course, you have to think about Barbie. But no, for obsessed. all of our music lovers, especially, you know, that work in music, I feel like this is perfect because this is such a nice office piece. It is. Like to have right this in your desk. office. Oh, it look, look, it grips the guitar. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, stop it. That is too cute. Put it on the, put it on our desk. This is wait, not and our it desk. Even, wait, it has a little display on the back though. We have to show this back. Oh, wow. It says, Jimi Hendrix, June 18th, 1967, Monterey, California, the Jimi Hendrix experience. Wow. How iconic. This would really would be a great, like, even Father's Day gift, or even, like, I'm obsessed with this. So if we're going to do this as a Father's Day gift, you make it a double gift, and you get you them the book as well. got to have the book. And I mean, Jimi Hendrix has so much music. This is, how many pages is this? This is... About 367 wow. pages of music. You got Purple Haze on here, Crosstown Traffic, Manic Depression, If Six Was Nine, Fox Lady, Angel, Dolly Dagger, and of course, Star Spangled Banner. Banner. So, 4th of July is coming up, actually. What I also love, too, is in the back of this book, it seems like you have some kind of pages to help guide you as you're trying to, like, learn. Oh, nice. And I think that's really helpful. So if you don't know how to play, but you're interested, this book has some pages, you know, to help guide you to get you to learn. Oh, nice, perfect. Well, so if you want any of these amazing products, make sure you jump in the description down below to buy them from Guitar Center. And whether you're a musician or just a music fan, there's a selection here for exactly what you need to enjoy the work and legacy of some of the most remarkable black artists of our generation. Thanks for hanging out, Kat. Um, I'm gonna take this. Ah.